All right, for uh, problem number 41, it says an object is placed 50 centimeters in front of a converging lens of a focal length of 10. What is the image distance and the lateral magnification? Those, so, so this is the same thing. The only thing that's different is that we're doing a converging lens as opposed to a mirror. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to do this again. We're going to draw a straight line for our ray diagram. Um, we'll make a little arc as best we can. And I'm going to try to draw this proportional. So if this is 10 centimeters, then about double that distance, which is about right here, would be 20 centimeters. And then about double that distance. Um, let me extend my ray diagram. About double that distance. So this, if this is 20, then we got to go 20 and then 10, about here, roughly. Yeah, that seems about right, doesn't it? Let me hold my 10, 10, 30, 40, 50. Oh, do a little bit further back here. All right, so now I've got my object here. Now, the only thing that's different, oops, I forgot to draw it. I got to draw it this way, right? Because it's a, it's a thin converging lens. So technically, technically it looks more like this. Well, you can. They have arcs. I know these. I see. I'm not real good at drawing the arcs, though. And then you got to do all this. See, I'm not. I'm not real good with those. I'll just the arcs in this one. We don't really need the arcs. Well, she was trying to tell me you could just draw the arc. You cloned that. Did I? <laughs> All right. So now we'll just we'll just kind of do one of these things. All right. So now this is a very similar process. We're just going to do it a little different. So now we're going to go from the tip of my object to the middle of the lens. And now if my focal point is here, I'm going to need another focal point about the same distance away which is about right here. So now, you draw through that focal point on the other end. And I'll extend it. The next thing we do is we're going to draw a line from the tip of the object to where the lens intersects the plane. And we'll do something like that. Lastly, we're going to we're going to see how we do this here right here how we how we're going to draw a line here so we got to go through the center so i'm going to come from the tip of the object to the center and then from here i'm going to draw a parallel line now clearly i didn't draw that to scale quite right right <laughs> so we're going to we're going to fudge it a little bit oh look at that that's perfect it's a little off, but that's all right. So now, <clears throat> clearly, the image is going to end up somewhere over here, right, guys? Yeah. So now this is what it should look like, roughly. Now let's do the math and see how close we are, okay? So what, um, what did it say that was? It said it was 50 and 10 was the focal length. So we're going to say 1 over D, uh, uh, O plus 1 over di is equal to 1 over the focal length. The focal length is what, guys? 1 over 10. 10. So it's 1 over 10. We don't know what the image is, but what's this? Um, 10? 50. Okay, you guys ready? So now... Um, 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 tenth minus 1 over 50. Common denominator is 50, although we could probably reduce it. So then that becomes 5 minus 1 all over 50, which is 4 over 25, isn't it? Or 4 over 50. 
which would be 2 over 25. Right? Yep. 1 over di. Now, if we, uh, if I, so in other words, we got this, right? Using the bat and ball method, 25 times 1 divided by 2. So I say 25 divided by 2 is equal to di, which is actually 12.5. Is that right? Yes. All right, so now we got to do the magnification. And this is all in centimeters, right? So now the magnification, who knows the formula for that? di over do. You're half right. Negative. Negative di, right? So it's negative di over do. Which is interesting because on the one worksheet, I had you guys calculate di over do. Uh, and I never really explained that when we take and make that the formula that you have to have to attribute the, you have to put the negative in there. Remember how we did that one worksheet? So you guys, we were given the multiple, we were given the magnification, and then we calculated the magnification by hand when we did that one lab. And uh, the lab just wanted you to see that the we basically derived this formula. But the only thing I don't think we talked about at, in great length was that the only thing that you needed to do was multiply that by a negative, so it actually matched up. So I've got negative 12.5. All over the distance, which is 50. What's that about? Negative one fourth. Or negative, negative 0. 0. 0.250. Uh, it's the same uh, thing. Uh, 